I am bare faced now, so we are going to get started. I already did my eyebrows because I do want to eventually do a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows or fill them in. Um, so we're going to start with the face. So I have already primed. I Sorry, I have all my stuff right here in the corner. I use the Baby Skin by Maybelline. It's actually my favorite primer to use um, when I'm more on the dry side just because it is a little bit more silicone um, touch. So I already primed, so we're going to start with the face. So for foundation today, I will be using, I practically use all drugstore for my everyday look um, just because it is more affordable and I'd rather save a pretty penny than going all out and then wasting my good foundation. So for today, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So this one right here. Um, I have used this one for a while now. I do seem to like it. I normally use a Milani 2-in-1 for my everyday makeup, but this one is a little bit more lightweight, which I do like, especially on the days that I am breaking out a little bit. As you can see, I do have a bit of breakage right here. Um, I also do have some breakage right here as well. So before I apply that, I am going to zoom you guys in just a tad bit. So give me one sec. Oop, oop, there we go. All right. So uh, let's start with foundation. With the foundation, this one does come with a little spatula, which I do love. Um, and I apply it by section and then blend it in with the beauty blender. So let's get started. So I'm going to come there. Put her... And put that back grab my beauty blender i do like to use my beauty blender dry um just because it does pick up any of the foundation i will not be using like i said this is a little bit more of a lightweight foundation that i prefer um for my everyday look so oh and if you hear noises in the background um most likely it is my tv show that i love to watch right now that i'm stuck in quarantine um, it is America's Next Top Model. Okay. My cheek is done. Now, when it does come to my blemishes, I really don't cover them up just because they don't really bother me. Not for an everyday look. Um, if I am going on a date night and I want a bit more full coverage, I'll probably change my foundation to something a bit fuller. Um, I guess this one is pretty lightweight. There's not much um, coverage when it comes to this one. But it is such a good foundation. So I film it for a little bit. Okay, now my forehead. Just to pat down. Now, I know some people do like to um, kind of smear their foundation into their skin. I'm more of a person that likes to pat it down just so I don't get any streaks or markings. Um, it seems to blend out a little bit better that way. Just this side of my forehead. Okay, and there is my face. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a little bit out of frame. Foundation on. Next, I do like to color correct a little bit under my eyes. Now, for my color correcting, I do like the L'Oreal True Match. And it's literally just the orange True Match one. As you can see, it is one of my favorites. It's practically gone. Um, so with this, I do like to use a little fluffy brush. 
um, just like this right here. And all I do is, since it's practically gone, I just dig in there. And then I apply it to under my eyes. Now, when it comes to color corrector, I am very picky. Um, just because some color correctors don't necessarily do their job. I do want to really try the Nikita color corrector that I saw in her line. In her Dragon Beauty line. Um, so hopefully I'll get my hands on that soon. And I, when I color correct, I do like to bring it down, kind of like a triangle where you normally apply your concealer. Yes, now we're to the other eye. I promise I'm not hurting myself if it does look like I'm kind of beating myself up here. like to get in right here besides my nose just because um i do get a little dark in there for some reason and that's not a cute look now as i look insane so worry it's not gonna stay like this I promise so i'm gonna get go back with my baby sponge and pat that in other side pat that in and then we're going to go in with concealer. So I'll come to concealer. I do use, again, L'Oreal. <laughs> and I use this concealer. Um, it is my favorite. I have used it for quite a while. Oh, sorry, it's not really focusing. Um, for quite a while. I do like it better than the tape, the tart tape shape. Uh, just because it's, again, more affordable for an everyday look. Um, but the consistency seems to be a little bit more, not as thick. It's more liquidy. And which I prefer because I'm not too into the full coverage, but I can do full coverage looks like for a date night or something. So here we go. Then a little bit more and get into my lids and then. Blended it. So I look insane. Over the leg. Tap, 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 tap. Now what dark circles? They don't exist, her. Mm -mm. Like before, after. Yes. So we're gonna go in here. Same thing like we did to the other side. Up under the eye. Over the eye by the tear ducts. Make sure all that orange color corrector is covered. Okay, and then now I do set it with a little bit of translucent powder. Now the translucent powder I use is from my academy from when I would go to school. It is the MVM translucent powder in the shade one. I know she kind of dirty, I'm sorry, but she is a setting powder and it is my absolute favorite. So let's grab a little bit of that. Now when I use the setting powder, I do like to use a brush. Um, just because it does pick up a little bit more and it feels it feels like it sets it a lot more so what I am going to do 
I grabbed some on a little foundation brush like this. And then I will go over with my Beauty Blender one more time. Sorry, not Beauty Blender, Beauty Sponge, because I don't have a Beauty Blender with me. The last one I had um, got kind of chewed up by a dog. And so I'm just going to tap it right under, because I do have a lot of wrinkles under my eyes for some reason. So under. Pack it in there, both sides. Now, when it comes to my forehead, well, when it comes to my forehead, I do tend to wrinkle up a lot. So the way I did it under my eyes, I'm gonna do it on my forehead. So, with the foundation brush, pat up and then to the sides. Make sure. It's nice and covered. And then, with a big fluffy brush, dip into the powder. And then I'm going to dust it all around. All around. And I'm going to go ahead over the eyelids. And then under the eye. Swoop it. Okay, then we have pretty much our base done. Sorry, get the mirror. Okay, now I am going to bronze up my face a little bit, add some blush, highlighter, and then we'll move to the eyes. So for the next uh, thing, we are going to bronze. I do like the NYX Matte Bronzer. It's this guy right here. And it is, can't really see the back. It is this one right here. So I do get an angled fluffy brush, a little fluffy angled, as you can see. I dip it in there, just a tad. Tap it off, always tap off. And we slowly start to bronze up. Now I do contour, um, but not for an everyday look. This is more of a subtle look. Bronze, bronze. Okay, a little bit more on the other side. And bronze. I love this bronzer. It's such a good bronzer for the price. Um, I normally do like the Kat Von D bronzer. It's the one that comes in the giant palette. That one's actually one of my favorites as well. I'm going to bronze up slash contour my nose. For that, I do get more of a... It is a fluffy brush, but it's kind of more flat it's not as rounded so i get a little bit Pat the axis off i start at the bottom right here i make somewhat of a u and then i like my nose to look rounded at the tip and then straight on top just because if you look towards my profile i do have a bump right here and um hopefully i get a nose job one day shout outs to my fiance nose job yes um so we are back to my nose so i bronze the tip of it first and then i swoop around like another half moon one side and then the other 
and then for the top right here the bridge of my nose i just go straight up and down and then on the other side straight up and down And then I like to blend it into my eyebrow. Other side too, into my eyebrow. And then whatever is left on the brush, I do like to go right here on top of my nose. And just maybe swivel back and forth. It gives me more of the illusion of a button nose than the crooked one I have. Blend up into my eyebrow, and then that's literally how I do my nose. Just blending it all in at this point. I do like to look a little bronze, um, just because I am so pale right now, especially staying inside through this hard time that the world is going through. And that's how I do my nose. Yeah. Okay, so next I am going to use blush. So the blush is another um, next product. It is the Blush Ombre. Um, and I'm trying to see if we can get the shade to come through. So this is the blush I'll be using today. Now I'll be just using a big fluffy brush it's kind of tapered not too much but it's really fluffy which i love so i tap tap into it on both sides tap off the axis please tap off the axis because believe it or not it's so pigmented for being a drugstore blush then just go over the apples of my cheeks and i do like to drag it into my bronzer um, just gives it more of a softer blend. Apple cheeks, blend back, blend back. I like to put a little bit on my nose though. Okay, and then next, I will be highlighter. Now, this highlighter it is from LA Colors. It is this highlighter. Now, I got this at Deso. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Deso. Um, it's this little, literally like a 99 cent store. And I was just wandering around browsing while my little sister was looking around. And I found this highlighter. And girl, mm, she bright. She's really, really pretty for being so... I think she was like three dollars or something like sorry for my nails like look at that oops she's a little like she is beautiful and on the face phenomenal so i do like to use a fan brush just like this and this one is from my school mbm shout out so I tap it. This one I actually tap because there's a lot of fallout and I don't want that much on my face. I do start with my nose. I just go back and forth. Sorry, there's like some in the air. And then there is my nose highlight right in the tip. I like to put on my cupid's bow. And then the highlight, the tip of my cheeks where I wish I had perfect cheekbones. This way right here. highlighter is on and she is bright yes okay so next is our eyes um this is practically it for my face i don't really put much on for an everyday look i'm um, just again i do like to keep it pretty light itself so onto our eyes now for eyes i literally just put on mascara i use the bronzer we used Get a little fluffy brush. Get a little fluffy brush. Dip into the bronzer. Tap 
she asks us. And let me grab the mirror real quick. And I go into my crease. Like that. One more. Tap the axis of the hair. Literally just bronzer. I did a little bit. Under my eyes. Under the other eyes. And then I get some, sorry, I keep coming out of the frame, some highlighter. A smaller, a little taper brush, and into the highlighter. I put it in my tear duct right here. And then some mascara. Mascara on my hand, please. Sorry, fixing that. What mascara on my cheek? None. Okay. Now. All I need left is lashes. Now for my lashes, I have Double Up Wispies. They are just these bad boys. So you can see I have already used them once. They are quite pretty. Let me put these on and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put on the lashes and I also put on some mascara down below and for the lips, I really don't do much. I either put on a lip gloss like I do have on right now or I put on just a plain old chapstick. Now for the lip gloss I do have on now, it is the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. Um, I do really like this one. Um, I like the little shimmers that it has, especially when the sun hits it. It looks so, so cute. Like you have no idea how cute it looks. It looks so nice. Um, and then that's it. That's all I use for my everyday makeup. Now, if you guys do like this video, go ahead and like it. And if you want to see more of me, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to know when I have any more videos up, or at least a little bit more interesting, because I know this one's kind of boring, it's just a makeup tutorial, um, go ahead and put that notification button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!